Hi, everybody. It's lesson two. Uh, I'm going to post this for you so you can uh, do a little reviewing. Those of you who have access to a guitar, if you can practice just even a couple minutes every day, pretty soon your fingers start to get used to where they're going. Okay? Now, you may remember that we were doing the D chord. And just to review, I'll get closer again. That finger goes there. That finger goes there, that finger goes there. And you play the bottom four strings. And you get a nice clear sound. Remember, look if you look real closely where my fingers are, notice how close they are to the frets. Okay? They're very close to the frets. Notice that I'm up on my fingertips. If I'm rolling down here, if you see your fingernails when you're like this, then chances are you're going to get this muted sound. That's not going to work. You have to get up here on the fingertips. Okay? And then you go up to up one string. And go back and forth between D and A. Okay? So remember I also said, okay, you can do this little little exercise where you go one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two. Okay? So you just practice that. You guys, you got to start getting what guitarists who play uh, folk music and rock and roll and so forth, they start calling that changes. Okay? They're chord changes, right? So getting really good at that, moving back and forth between one chord and the next, that's really important. Okay? So you work on your chord changes and getting to from D to A7 is among the easiest of the chord changes that you can do. Now I also added the C chord. First finger is there on the second string. The second finger is on the fourth string. I gotta look at myself. On the fourth string, second fret. Third one is on the third fret, fifth string. Uh, Also showed you. I'm sorry. A little C major scale. Now you all know what a scale sounds like. Do re mi fa sol la ti do. So just tune to that. It's the th there, there. Open on the fourth string. Second fret. Third fret. Open on the third string, two on the third string, open on the second string, and one on the second string. And that all comes out of that C chord position that you're in. So now you know three chords. You know the D chord, you know the A7 chord, and you know the C chord. Those are the three chords to, to, to practice. And then, moving back and forth, go from D to A7 to D, and from D to C to D. After a while, your fingers will just move there, because you'll start to feel the strings, and you'll know what it feels like to make the chord, okay? Now, the only way you'll learn how to do that, I'm sorry to tell you this, Really sorry to tell you this. The only way to learn how to do it is to do it. You have to practice it. There are no shots you can take to get better at this. You can't go online and find out that there are multiple secrets to learning how to change chords really quickly. Really aren't. You just have to kind of practice moving back and forth. And after a while, when you make the chord enough in your fingers and it feels right, you'll know it. You'll just know what that chord feels like. I don't have to look at my hands to make those chords, and I can do other chords as well. And you'll be able to do that too. Um, and then later on we get up the neck and you start using bar chords. That, comes, that becomes a little bit more complicated. But the good news is 
They're just a couple positions and you can do all kinds of things with those couple positions, okay? So what I want you to practice this week, D chord, A7 chord, C chord, C scale, and going back and forth. And making a nice clear sound with all of them. So that's basically it. That's your lesson. Your job's to practice. Thanks. See ya. Bye.